Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and I am on a candle review thing going on today. Yeah, I'm reviewing the candle from Bath and Body Works and this is part of the, I don't know if it's the Lighthouse collection, but actually the name of the candle is Lighthouse. This is a three wick, 14 and a half ounce candle from Bath and Body Works and I got it when they first introduced this entire collection. Um, they had Nantucket sails, they had beach grass, they had suntan, they had bonfire, they had lighthouse. Out of the ones that they had, the only two that really sort of intrigued me, sort of called to me, sort of were my points of interest were lighthouse and the Nantucket sails. Um, weird thing though, when I first took a sniff of the lighthouse, this candle, I got, I couldn't figure out what was going on with the candle. Um, I wasn't sure about it. It reminded me a little bit of the home candle collection that they let go of probably like a month prior that had the, I think the scent love which I called it the loveless candle because I couldn't figure out any fragrance to that candle. And in the end, it was, it was scentless. I would say that, but it was, this fell into that similar category where I couldn't figure out what was going on with this candle. Interesting, but I didn't know what was happening. I'll read you the scent description for it. It just says a beacon lighthouse, a beacon of beautiful fragrance for your home in a blend of sea glass, sea foam, and a hint of sparkling sand. Okay, as mentioned, sea glass has no scent. It has no scent. It's very beautiful if you find a piece and you're, you know, your beach, but there's no scent. Sea foam, what do they mean by that? Do they mean like when the, you know, do I smell sea foam? Does it smell like ocean? No. I mean, I don't know. And sparkling sand. You know, in a way, sand does have a fragrance when the ocean or the water is hitting it. It does have that nice, strange, earthy kind of, salty kind of different fragrance. So it is different. That's the description, though. I didn't write it. Bath and Body Works did. So what happened? I started burning it. When I started burning it, Again, I couldn't get anything from the candle. It was weird. It was as though it was giving off different fragrances, but you couldn't pinpoint anything in particular, anything special about the candle. Midway, the son of a gun started throwing, and it started throwing, str I mean, strong, strong, strong. It was really weird. So when it reached about up to here, the scent started coming out. And then it was weird what I got from it. When I, per, you know, like I just moved this candle from one location to this location. And as I was moving it, you get a little more woof of, you know, like a scent. Oh, what is that scent? And I smelled wood notes to it. And then I tried to figure out what else was going on with the candle. You definitely do smell some sort of wood notes, like burning wood and, um, maybe a tweak of sand, um, just a little bit when it's wet, kind of earthy, kind of wet sand. And then the strangest thing, you get a background, a floral note to it. And I compared this one to one that I do have from Yankee Candle, this one called Summer Bloom by Yankee Candle, which is like a sunflower daisy kind of scent. And I got that sunflower daisy kind of scent in this candle it it was really weird it's almost as though Bath and Body Works took like a little bit of oils from a bunch of different candles and decided to create this thing and said okay let's throw this and let's a pinch of this a dab of that and a tweak of this it's really weird it's a different kind of fragrance but I did as I said smell a little bit of wood notes maybe a little bit of the sandy wetness to it like you know beach sand and and a little bit of the of this sunflower daisy kind of floral note it's unusual to say the least and the son of a gun is strong I thought it, in the beginning it wasn't and then it turned into a power you know like wow and that's what happened. Um, 
it's really weird. The burn, I have to mention, the burn was flawless. So far, no problem. It's given me no hassle. I've trimmed the wicks. The wicks haven't gone anywhere when it's burning. Burns beautifully, easy, pulls fantastically well. It's a beautiful candle as far as performance is concerned. As far as throw is concerned, it's strong. I, you know, and as far as scent definition, there really isn't because I don't know how you would describe it. And, and when I see other people's reviews on this candle, how they think it's going to come off. But that's what I got, people. A little bit of woods, a little bit of sand, and a little bit of floral, like sunflower, daisy kind of thing going on. There you go. Would I get it again? In fact, and this is really weird because it happens with a lot of the fragrances that I pick that are extremely strong. Sometimes I don't like super strong fragrances. Sometimes I don't like overpowering scents. Um, sometimes I do. With this one, since I do sort of smell a little bit of that floral note and it's strong, I probably wouldn't get it again. I don't like super strong floral noted candles and this has that just that little something in it that sort of throws me um but if you like these kind of fragrances and this is my my thought on this candle you might like it you probably might um so there it is 14 and a half ounce three wick lighthouse from the, i think the lighthouse collection you know it was good not something that I would normally go for, but it was a nice candle for someone that's going to go after those scents. Anyway, there it is. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and, and there you go. Thank you. Bye-bye.